Hello everyone, welcome back to this Microsoft Excel tutorial journey with me on my Knowledge Factor YouTube channel. This is the 96th session today and uh, we are learning the pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. So we are going to take a look at uh, two methods here that you can utilize to filter your pivot table results. And uh, I'm going to break this into two separate videos. The first one is going to be the filter tool built into the pivot table and it's been around inside of pivot tables uh, i think ever since i can remember within excel so now uh, let's get uh, rid of the year uh, let's remove year out of there all right just so we are looking at something a uh, more simple right so now filtering your pivot table results uh, again keep in mind this is based on the this is based on that list that original sales data list right got all those records now let's say right now i am looking at each month and the sales of each month but uh, there's there's three years of data here and we are really not seeing the years so i'm going to grab the year field and i'm going to drag it down into the filter section all right so now we got this new section of paper table uh, it's it's right here it's right here we also got showing up on the chart that now allows us to filter the result by year so currently I'm looking at year all three years but if I click on the drop down uh, we now have the option to filter the years and in the newer release I got to remember I think uh, uh, it's 2010 and may, may, may happen in 2013 they introduced the select multiple items i think it was 2010 but if i select one say i want to see only 2013 uh, select that and i'll hit ok and we have now filtered the pivot table and the chart as well so maybe i want to compare 2000 let's say 13 and 15 so let's go and get both those inside there so now i have to select this and then 13 and 15 click OK and now I have got both sets of data for 2013 year and 2015 but a quick little filter little drop down here you pick what you want to see I'll go back to see all and you're updating both the pivot table and the chart very cool right just just a couple of clicks in the mouse and uh, you're able to filter that data I did it by year but uh, maybe I would want to buy products or salespersons or by region we can drop those in there so you, you can even uh, drop multiple filters into the filter section of your pivot table so try this one out we are going to take a look at one more method let's take a look at uh, that in the next video it's actually my preferred method over this filter method right here but i will talk about that here in a moment uh, so try this one out uh, get that to work for you then we'll take a look at the next option thank you so much guys for watching this tutorial and as i always say if you really liked it and enjoying this journey then please do like share, and subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon to get the latest content update on this channel all right then we'll meet up in the next session in case you have any questions any concerns then do let me know in the comment section of this video so see you in the next video till then stay safe have a great life and take very good care of yourself